morning. It has finally gotten cold again. So the ground is frozen. And well, now the gate's frozen the ground. As you can tell, yeah. We had a lot of rain and then it got really cold tonight or last night. Yeah, so it's frozen. And uh well that's a problem. You're supposed to be in there. Yeah, that's why it's a pain in the butt too, and that's why it's leaning like this. Well, let's head back to the tractor. It's been pretty muddy all week, so they've been only feeding hay bales. Um, but it froze today, so I think I'm going to switch back to the bucket so that we can feed the rest of that mixture stuff. There's not that much left. Um, definitely not going to finish it up today, but there's not that much left. Um, it's been pretty, pretty muddy all week besides today. So, Oh, yeah, and I also finally got my camera. It's a, um, I don't know what it's called. I don't really know the name, but that's the model. It's got a front camera and that's got the back camera um, it also has an app that I can run it through my phone which makes it a lot easier so then I don't have to like cut like 30 minute videos down to like 30 seconds instead I can just turn it on and off with my phone which makes it a lot easier and then it takes less time to move the files around to um, edit them too so it's a win-win with this camera um, it also has pretty good quality and actually has a pretty good mic on it and it also came with the external mic that I can plug into so and it was like 80 bucks now it's back up to like 140 so it's a pretty nice camera if if you're interested in getting that camera um, I'll actually if you leave a comment I'll I'll send you the link to it and uh, yeah and now the shed um, let's go ahead and take these forks off the front of this tractor a button on my phone and it starts recording so I can record things like me hooking up to stuff and I don't have to edit a 30 minute video of something down to a little 10 second clip I can just record the 10 second clip by clicking a button on my phone which is a feature that most GoPros have but I just never spent more than like $40 on a little tiny action camera and this one has pretty good audio too and it's pretty nice i mean it's not really an 80 dollar camera it's about 140 dollar one but they were on sale so it's pretty nice um, i'm backing up to get a bail right now I still haven't found a good washer man, which I could wash the windows and wash the tractor, but after the week we just had, uh, it's pretty muddy. I'd say after, if this thaws out today, it's going to be pretty muddy again, so right now I'm heading through the gate. It is definitely, it is very frozen compared to my other weekends. It's probably the coldest it's been for a while. I'd say it's about 15 degrees outside. But heading out to the cows. Well, I came out to feed the cows and uh, I was coming up the hill and the bale flipped over the back and uh, did its own wrap. So it's halfway up the hill. Um, we've been feeding bales and we've been just unrolling them down this hill. So I'd say. Oh, yeah, and there's my camera. It's just chilling. But yeah, 
it'll be fine with him with that bale there i'll just put out a few more down here by the trees and then i'll put some scoops up on the hill we'll head back and get another bale i'm gonna record that much today it is a saturday but i have a game around 12. um it's a um not a tournament per se but in our district we're having the top teams of each district go against each other like the east and the west so um, we're ranked third in um, our um, conference but in our district we're ranked first so we get a bye in our district and then we'll play um, teams from there um, so yeah every team in our district is going to have to play on Monday but we got to wait until Tuesday so of uh, not not the this week, but the following week, so, yep. Just got done messing with the time-lapse feature, which uh, I didn't know that's what it meant whenever it said the two seconds in the corner. It literally made a two-second two clip of me feeding the cows right there. But, uh, yeah, uh, that's the second bale that I've fed today. Um, I'm heading back to um, get more um, hay. I think I'm going to put out four again. I don't think I'm going to feed corn unless Dad's going to come out and feed corn because i got to get to the school by 10 30 and then we're gonna leave the school at 11 30 then we got a game at i think it's around i think it's around 12 30 to 1 1 o'clock one or the other but uh yeah heading back for more hay so we are three bales down and i just tried out the time lapsing feature on this camera that i'm recording with right now and uh, did pretty good. There's some bad lighting in here at the moment because of the sun, it's really bright. But uh, yeah, this camera comes with a front facing camera so I can see myself right now. Um, the only thing I'm testing right now is really the audio. Um, other than that, I love its time lapsing feature. I love that I can run everything through my phone. Um, yeah, it's pretty nice. I think this uh, little action camera that I got here is going to be perfect for whenever it comes to harvest season and even planting season. Honestly, every season besides right now, really. Um, it's going to be really cool to see the camera clips I'm going to be able to get with this thing. And it's going to make it a heck of a lot easier to get cool camera clips whenever I can just turn on with my phone and then let it record. And especially whenever I'm able to do time lapses, that's pretty cool too. Oh, I don't know if we're going to be feeding corn today. If there's corn in the 4430, I will feed corn, but if there's not, um, if you haven't seen that video of me of us moving that um, transfer auger, that's the transfer auger we use to fill up with corn in our 4430, so it's going to be a little while before that. Um, those bins are going to be empty just because we're not um, moving beans at the moment, we're doing corn. Um, so just cows haven't had corn for about about a week because that's whenever we did the last video of us moving that transfer auger so they're doing all right um they really it's not really been that cold it's been the coldest day by far this week for sure because it's been in like the 40s all week long so i'm just sitting down a hay bale and if you made it this far in the video, remember, leave a like. And if you're new here, subscribe. And um, also leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think about this new camera. And, uh, yeah. This weekend's not going to be the greatest weekend for videos just because I got a game on Saturday. And our school goes four days a week. So I get Mondays off, too. But I have a game on Monday, too. And it's a... Uh, it's the rescheduled game from the Thursday that I didn't have school, which is whenever I recorded the equipment tour video, which if you haven't seen that video, also go check it out. It's a pretty good video. It shows you kind of the machinery that we have on the farm 
And uh, yeah, pretty cool. I'm making my way back to the shed. Just got done feeding the rest of the cows. There's the camera. It's a little bit too tall to stand up in that spacing. Just, just, just a little bit too tall. But it's a pretty good camera. Close the sketchy gate. Hmm. I don't think it's gonna go back in there now. See, there's wire. There's wire there from last winter because it came out. So that's not good. And you can see it's starting to get a little bit. It's starting to cool. Well, it's not starting to cool down. It's starting to warm up. So now it's getting sloppy. And I don't want to get my shoes dirty. Because then I get the tractor dirty. On the inside, okay? Not on the outside, on the inside. It's pretty hard to move this gate one handed now. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that the rest of the winter. Unless we fix it. Probably fix it tomorrow, maybe. Eh. Eh. Nope. Nope, stay there. Pretty good. Alrighty, let's head to the shed. Time to head home. 300 still hasn't got its front tires put on. And as you can tell, they are not in the greatest condition. See, look, this, they're not very good. But, it does have some pretty nice back tires that have been put on it. And uh, those are the 40, the 80 40 tires, and there's the 300 tires. And the maroon pickup, not the cleanest in the world. So. We'll head home. Not that much going on in this video, but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I just wanted to inform you guys on what's going on and why this video is not going to be that long. But uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, if you like the camera, let me know in the comments below. Um, hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. And I'll see you guys in the next one.